have one last story about holes. You might say that this story would complete the Holy Trinity. The last time I remember digging a hole was when I dug a grave. So, we had had this cat since before my sister, my brother, and I came along. And her name was Tasha. Tasha basically raised us. She was like our feline maternal figure, right? But the thing about cats is they don't live that long. So she croaked when I was in second, third grade. And my mother was in tears because this cat meant the world to her. And so after we... My brother is playing music loudly on purpose. I'll be back. Now that that's dealt with, where were we? Ah, yes, my mother was in tears and so the person who had helped put Tasha down decided that she would return the body. She said, do you want to bury this or do you want us to keep it and dispose of it? And my mom really wanted to bury the cat. So we took the cat home and buried it. One little problem with burying a cat in your backyard. If you already have a hole that you're digging, you don't want the cat to go into that hole because you have a purpose for that hole. So my father had this brilliant idea. Hey, let's dig the cat's grave right next to your hole. That's a good place for it. So we did dig a grave. It was pretty deep. It was a lot of hard work because instead of having years to dig this deep hole, we had a few hours. We finished, we wrapped the cat's body in a bag and just like dropped it down and covered it. And the problem with that was even though we hadn't worked on the hole for a while, ever since my brother got stuck, we still wanted to work on it, we just never really did. And so with a decomposing cat body right next to the hole, we decided we wouldn't dig because we might hit the cat and that would be A. Smelly, B. Dirty, and C. Just disgusting all around. And so that's why we ended up filling up the hole a year later. So, you know, all the stuff that goes with a YouTube video, like, rate, comment, subscribe, below.